Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the wonderful Wubulous Project Zomboid Peach Mall 2.0 save file Let us continue Last episode we got some construction done uh, A good amount of it too We're going to continue kind of focusing on making our safe house as good as we can get it As well as still maybe go out and loot a little bit to try and find more trash bags Oh no we have enough trash bags never mind No I need to get my uh I need to get level 1 I think it's level 1 Carpentry before we can build our rain collector. If we can get our rain collector barrel up today, I will be a happy, happy boy. Uh, we're pretty close, if I remember correctly. I do not want to see this. I don't care. All right. So our character is a little bit on the sadder side of, of, of life, but that's fine. He can deal with it. If I can deal with it, he can deal with it. So let's move on. Um, oh, right. Where, how, how close are we, actually, to carpentry? We already are carpentry level one. Is it carpentry level two that we need? Um, was under furniture, rain collector barrel. Oh, we need carpentry level two. Ugh. Do we have a book? I think we need intermediate carpentry, right? I don't think it's advanced. Let's find out. It's not expert. Do we not? Ha do didn't we grab? I thought we had a book. Level three. Yeah, it's not what we need. Not what we need at all. Which is really shitty. Damn. So we need to kind of do this the old school, old fashioned way, which is to just build things and wait for it to level up on its own, which sucks, but what are you going to do? We still have electricity, I'm just realizing. That's actually a, that's a long time to keep electricity running. Surprised we still have it. Um, everything's rotting. I don't like it. Probably won't do much with all of these. Let's go ahead and put that away. Well, hang on to the rest. Uh, box. Wow, do we? Why do we have so much shit? Did I get this from looting uh, yesterday? I must have. Uh, yeah. Oh, this can go here. Keep the bullets for now. Keep the axe. Uh, pepper can go away. All right. Well, let's get back to to construction. What I'm gonna do, I think, is start. Uh, pulling some of these logs, sawing them up, and putting them into this box for storage later. This is a uh, beginner carpentry. Don't need that. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we're going to work on. Where'd it go? There it is. Just to start moving things around to hang on to for later. And hopefully we don't, like, break our back. We are going to break our back. Uh, the more we carry heavy stuff, too, though, the, uh... More, we're going to level up our hidden strength skill, which does exist in case you were not aware. Uh, so let's go ahead and start doing this. And the fact that he is doing the running animation, meaning he's not as carrying as heavy as a load as he could be. Could be a lot worse. Or we could just straight up just go to build the wall. Woo, didn't mean to do that. You know, let's just build the wall. Fuck it. There's no reason not to. We might as well. And this little area over here, this uh, can be a farming zone eventually when we do get enough to do the farming. And I do want to get a sledgehammer too. I think our best bet for a sledgehammer is going to be to the mall, unfortunately. But uh, we do want to eventually get a sledgehammer because I do want to start knocking out some of this fence. We can actually put some of the fence to use. Uh, we can also uh, build toward the fence eventually and um, kind of build our wall to attach itself to the fence. And then... Um, kind of build a doorway into the fence itself. That way we already have... That way... It's like automatically just a wall already built for us at the highest carpentry level. So generally speaking, that's just a good idea. I'm also going to be taking periodic sips of coffee through this episode. Uh, I apologize ahead of time if that bothers you, but I need it. Coffee is necessary to my daily being sometimes, particularly on a Sunday. Sundays are very lazy for me for one reason or another. Uh, probably because Carrie's home and, you know, this is kind of Carrie day, so I try to get work done as quickly as I can so I can go spend some time with her. Might be going to a tapas bar later tonight. If you don't know what a tapas bar is, you should research it. It's really delicious food. And it's not like a bar. Uh, you know, the, the word bar is in there, but it is not really like a bar bar. It's, it's just delicious, delicious food. Um... Spanish style like cuisine really really good stuff and we might be going again tonight We went last weekend and it was like this little place that we researched we basically were researching for places to, to go out to eat and uh, We kind of came across this place and it got a lot of good reviews that were on the website we were using so we went to go check it out I can't remember the name of it unfortunately 
Um, but we went to go check it out. It's this little tiny place. And we went at what would normally be, I guess, prime, eh, maybe a little bit later than prime, like prime rush hour for, for restaurants. And um, we went in. And it was like this little hidden, like wonderful tapas bar restaurant. The food was excellent. The dessert was excellent. Everything, the service was great. The owner was super friendly. He was around. Our server was amazing. Like everything about the experience at that restaurant was utterly top notch. And I'm, I really want to go back. So we might go again tonight. You know, make it a week, a once a week trip on the weekend during uh, days off and stuff. You know, date night type deal. Because it's awesome can't actually build that. I don't know why I was looking to build that. Let's take a look. Carpentry slowly getting up there. I mean, we have to do, what, three times the work we normally would have to do in order to get the experience point of the next rank in it. Uh, I definitely might make my way to the mall at some point this episode to see if I can grab maybe a sledgehammer. I don't know if there's anything, any stores in there that would actually have a sledgehammer in it, um, but I honestly think it'd be good for us to try anyway. See if we can. Earlier we get it, the better. The fact that we have all these, I really shouldn't complain though. The fact that we finally did get all of the tools that we needed to do construction is lucky enough. We were having a hard enough time trying to find those, so can't really bitch too much. The game has been relatively kind, particularly in the weapon department, giving us all those axes and stuff uh, has been really nice. The lucky trade has definitely been worth picking up, especially on extremely rare loot like the one I'm playing right now. So let's go ahead and do some construction. Another couple walls. Then we'll grab some lunch for the guy. And uh, we're going to want to build a doorway. Like here. So keep that in mind. But for now, do we want to grab anything in here? Eggplant, fries, ice cream. Which doesn't ever go bad, so it doesn't really matter. Let's have some soda. And you know what? Let's not have... Let's have something that doesn't actually give us, like trash in our inventory. Let's have the lollipop. Hmm. Lollipop lunch. I can just imagine this badass guy who's like lifting logs and sawing them into planks and building shoddy walls. Is like just puts the lollipop in his mouth and walks out the door and is ready to get back with his manly things. It's a weird image in my mind. Okay, let's grab these. Mm-mm. Delicious. I'm having a uh, chocolate. It's called uh, we go to this little place called uh, Heavenly Donuts, and uh, we have this 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 the coffee. They have like like probably like twenty to thirty different flavors of coffee, and I've kind of nailed my favorites down to two. Uh, I do love their maple French toast coffee; it's really good. Uh, but lately, I've been trying to switch it up. And by switch it up, I mean go to my other favorite coffee, and uh, they have one called Chocolate Pretzel Stick. And with just the right like you get it regular cream and sugar. Don't um don't do any extra or anything like that. I could even maybe do a little bit less sugar. Um, but you just do it that way, and you get this awesome, like, you can really taste the subtle hints of the chocolate and the saltiness of the pretzel in there. It is really good. I am a big fan. Okay, let's actually make this door frame, because that's what we're going to want. Not here, but here, right? Yep. So right there. Let's go ahead and put that up. I don't know if we're going to have enough planks to build a wall. We don't, but we do have enough for a pillar, so let's go ahead and put a pillar down. Okay, and that's, is that all the planks? I want to make sure we used them all. Looks like we did. Good. Okay, we can do a little bit more construction um, before we have to get the character in bed. And then the next day, we'll run to the mall and see if we can get anything out of it. Though, I don't know where else in the mall we could go. We could, um, No, you know what? There's actually a construction site not too far, isn't there? Let's go there first. The construction site is uh, a good candidate for having what I'm looking for. So let's go there. If they don't have, um, really? I didn't saw the second, oh, it is. And if they don't have the, um, the sledgehammer, then we'll go to the mall. And that's when we'll go to the mall. Alright, let's, uh, go down here. Let's see if we can pop up a couple more pieces of wall. Hmm. Come on, don't break your back. That's my biggest concern, is that he's gonna, like, break his own back. Uh, we could build a door, but what do we need for a door? Oh, we need the basic stuff for a door. It's not like we need a door right now anyway, to be honest. It's uh, pretty slow going as far as the zombies are concerned. Alright, let's get our character in bed, I think, for the day. Let's get him prepped for the next day. 
Uh, he's not hungry, which is good. He is definitely exhausted. A lot of hard work. A lot of manual labor. But it's fine. It's all for the best. Speed up time a bit. There we go. In bed you go, sir. Good. We made some good progress. The The wall is looking pretty nice. I'm, I'm happy with it. I definitely am happy with it. We can do some good stuff with it eventually, too. What's going to be shitty is that at some point we're going to end up getting leveling up uh, again to level 2 carpentry. And our walls are going to start to look a little bit better. So our walls are going to start looking mismatched. We're going to have our shitbag walls that we have over there. As well as the good walls we end up building after we hit level 2 carpentry. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's an unfortunate situation, but... Alright, let's uh grab the axe. Which axe do we want to use? That doesn't really matter. Let's go ahead and equip this one. We'll start doing, making our way downtown. Walking fast. Something. And he's homebound. -na 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 -na. This one. Come on. You got this. Let's go have some breakfast while he does that. Uh, you know what? Eat the apple. Why are there chips in here? Move those over. All right. Off to the construction site. And hopefully killing off enough zombies to get level 3. That was something else I wanted to get done, too, was level 3 blade. At the same time, we're going to need uh, to make sure we have an experience point to spend into level 3 carpentry. But level 3 blade is going to be useful, so we're going to want to get that in. So if we go straight down this way, it should lead us... Ooh, a couple Zeds up there. Uh, this should lead us directly to the uh, construction site. And I am going to go out of my way to kill up some zombies on the way there. Excuse me. Do you have time to hear about your Lord and Savior Jesus Axe of the Face? Guess not. Good. It is also almost the end of August. So winter or fall is, is almost here and winter is coming. So we're going to need to make sure uh, that we grab a sweater s at some point in the near future. How many more kills do we need to do? About 11 more kills. Or 11 more swings. It shouldn't even be 11 kills. Hi. Alright, good. So here, we might... If there's anything in here, if there's a building in here, that, then sure. I don't know if there's going to be a building in here, though. I've never been in this thing before. Any of this like stuff that I can look in? Nope. Lame. So this is a pointless place. We'll go. We'll look around it real quick. Oh, actually, in there. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Well, we missed. Relax. Easy kills. One, two, three more. Give a quick shout. Start moving in my way. So I can make my life a little easier. Down. Excuse me, ma'am. Good. Let's go up. Nothing. Alright, let's pop into here. Hopefully it'll have a sledgehammer. Probably not. But hey, there's a couple crates, so that's a good guess. Uh, let's also take a look at our... Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping we will be able to get it from those zombies. Ooh, good. Good. Nothing. Shut. Anything in here? No. Fridge, maybe. Maybe have some food. A lemon. I mean, we might as well take it. It'll probably rot before we get to do anything with it, but we might as well take it. And that's it. Let's uh, let's take a look around the wall and see what's around. I also want to test out level 3 blade, even though it's not going to really do much. And then let us swing a little faster. Though I don't know if it actually speeds up our downward swing animation. I think it definitely, it obviously speeds up our regular speed animation, like our regular swing animation, but the downward swing, I don't think it actually does. If it does, it's minimal. Put it that way. Let's zoom out. Just quickly looking around our surroundings. Okay. Head over here and see what's on the other side of this wall. A little bit more exploration of the new, of the area. We also do know... Oh, God damn it! it's raining. We also do know that there is a movie theater not too far from where we are. And I would like to take a look at that 
That's a place I have not gone yet. The mall obviously was our focus, but I do want to see other areas that are new to this area of the map, which is pretty much everything. Which is why I'm kind of going out of my way a little bit to check out some of these zones. Somehow that went, and I don't know how that animation went down, but it happened. So it looks like more forest over here. This could have been a good area to build our, our own personal little house, but... That's another thing I gotta do eventually, is, is have a run through or a playthrough where I actually build my own house. Something I'd have never done. Alright. Well, this is all pointless, so let's just get out of here. Yeah. Unfortunate, but... That just means we have to go to the mall. And I don't really know if I want to. We'll check out this house. Check out a couple houses along the way. Maybe we'll get some useful, useful stuff. We're out here anyway. It's too late in the day to go to the mall. And we need to get out of the rain sooner rather than later. So, let's go ahead and just pop in for a quick dip and spell here. Come on. You can do it. You're getting really wet, dude. There you go. And the alarm's going to go off. You knew that just because I saw her turn around and start making her way towards the house before I even went in it. That's how you know there's an alarm. So hopefully we can pop into here then. Come on. These houses suck. Just let me in, man. Alright, we're going in. Hopefully, we'll, we'll like stay up against this wall, kind of wait it out. I just don't want them to see me. Like around this window here, if they go through. Um, whoop, that's going to pull them north now. It's fine. Keeping quiet, keeping quiet. Let's do a quick clear of the house. We're going to spend some time here anyway while we wait for the rain to go out. And we're going to loot it anyway. So we'll go ahead and knock a couple of these. Wait for a response. See if anybody comes banging at the doors. Does not seem to be the case. Do a quick visual check. House is clean. It's always good to have a clean house. Still wet, but if we actually maybe we'll get some towels, we can actually dry off real quick. So we can go ahead and go ahead and grab this and dry ourselves off. Perfect. Now we have a wet towel, which we can't actually do anything with. So we'll just drop it. But we did dry ourselves off a little bit, so it means we're not gonna get sick. And uh, I think we'll wrap this episode up here. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, come back tomorrow for some more daily projects on board and consider dropping a like as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.